What do you want? Intro. Yeah, uh, here. What's going on guys? We are at the AFL Grand Final and I'm with my brother and my friends. We're about to watch the Lions get the job done. They got, if they win, it's going to be a big night. If they lose, it's going to be a big night. Come along for it. You know what it is. Rob Vlogs are there. Alright, welcome to the MCG. We have Collingwood taking on Brisbane Lions. This is an absolutely crazy atmosphere. I've been in the grand final before, but Collingwood playing. 100,000? Yeah, easy. 100,000. Come the pies. Like, you have to be there to experience how crazy it actually was. It, it was shaking. Obviously, I had some mixed emotions. I was happy as a Lions winner, but it would be sad if they lost. Just cheering them on the whole time. I couldn't wait to see these boys get stuck in there. That was a voice. Woo! Boys are about to get started. Watch the boys here meet in the middle, Maynard against Harrow. Starting to really feel it now. Ashley McGrath, Miracle on Grass. Here we go. The big bro bringing the beers for the boys. Now it was on from the start. Nick Dacos getting a free kick, a high free kick. You could just feel that the crowd was going to go absolutely ballistic if he kicks this goal. We have Bobby Hill at the back. Bobby Hill, absolutely love this bloke. He's first of the day that he's going to be going for. It's pretty much a perfect start for Colin with a kicker. And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> David getting around Mason Cox. <laughs> get around Zachy Bailey, baby. I had him for three goals, 20 for the day. Didn't get that, but it was close. This play coming up, I literally thought Mick Dacos stuffed up his knee again. You see me get smothered and he's in a bit of pain. I was thinking, oh no, this poor bloke. But he got up and he was good to go. Look at this, from the boundaries, kick goal of the year in the grand final. Zach Bailey. Mason Cox takes a pretty good grab. Bro, if he kicks it, the crowd's gonna go off. You had to ask Adam Trollo if he's a good kick or not. It's a good kick, it's a good kick for goal. Alright, you can hit it first. And I think he might have put on a little bit of a jinx there. On the siren, Jordan Ngoi, like, clutch all day this bloke. Listen to it. Apparently the AFL said they weren't going to play any songs after goal, so the boys got around and they got going. Big Matho and Fullo. Going to start a second quarter now, the song's still going. Charlie's first goal for the day. 
Didn't touch in the first and kicks two in the second to get the boys back into it. Link McCarthy, like honestly, from the pocket. He's a pop up sprinkler! He's a pop up sprinkler! Bobby Hill is absolutely turning on this first half. That's Specky with something else, Paul Stars. Joey Danaher going for goal. I thought he was going to snap it. The bloke showed no emotion. I didn't know if he kicked it or not. I don't know how this bloke keeps doing it. He's old as the hills and he just keeps performing at his age. It's amazing to see. I don't think I've ever been this nervous going for the last quarter in my career. I've literally thought whoever kicks the first goal wins the game. The Lions kicked the first goal, but you know. Hey, you've done nothing today. So my cameraman, that's meant to be him, he's done nothing today. It's not called Rob does all the vlogs. <laughs> <laughs> Marco Pepperone! Scaly mates! How close was I? No shit, no shit. I think I said a hundred thousand and twenty. There's no chance that I thought that Steel Cell Bond was going to kick this from 55. It might be the most important goal of the day. It's. Uh, <laughs> have a look. Just have a look at this. Now we knew there wasn't much time to clock. We've been checking the app for the last five or six minutes. This goal, we needed to get this goal. Danaher plays on straight away. Bang. We're checking the score here. One minute to go. Seeing the boys on the ground, like it's the most heart-wrenching thing that I've ever seen. So I know how much they've put into it, how many years that we've been trying to get there. And to finally get there, like something just overcame me and I was just feeling so sad.
on the way out, I saw Kitty Coleman's family. He obviously lived with me the first year he got drafted, and I really became close with his family. So it was hard, hard for me to be able to see them after they put in so much work. But these fireworks at the end of it, though, walking out, a little bit drunk. Alright guys, so that is the end of the grand final day. Obviously the Lions lost. They played their heart out. They left everything out there. Very proud of the boys. They'll be bigger and better next year. Congratulations to Collingwood. I really appreciate all the support this year. No more footy vlogs. What's going on bro?